Rachel and I got to the trailhead, set up Starlink. She's currently working. Um, and then we're gonna hike this later this evening. Come on, this side. Uh, come on, come on. <laughs> As you can see, someone's excited to be out, huh? Um, anyways, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hike this this evening. I think it's like 3.8 miles. Hopefully, it'll be a nice sunset. But yeah, Zeke's kind of been cooped up. I biked 28 miles yesterday, and then the day before, we kind of just hung out. We took him for walks in the evening, so I mean, it's not like he was literally just stuck in the van. But supposedly, the scramble once you get up to Cathedral Rock um, is decent. So we're we're gonna opt to leave him back at home, if you will. Yeah, beautiful. Feels good to be back in Sedona. Uh, this place is really just, it's special to us. We love it here. Super pretty. So this will be a unique experience in the sense of doing it this morning and then tonight when Rachel gets off work. We were told it's definitely a hike you want to do for sunset if you can do it. So we'll see. Someone's just excited to be out. And what's nice is like different than the national parks for us, national parks, a lot of them, it's like we can hike paved areas and stuff, but can't go off the beaten path with him. So it's nice that he gets to tag along with all this stuff here in Sedona. Like just a rabid beast. And it's not fun on rocks. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way up to the top with him. Rachel and I'll do that later. Um, I'll see what it looks like, I guess. He can climb, I'm confident in his climbing abilities. But if it's busy, it's generally best to have a free hand for when I'm going up to where Rachel would probably be pretty bummed if I got hurt right before her and I were supposed to do it. He just doesn't care. Walk straight out to the edge. Beautiful. Okay, he's like, Dad, I'm gonna pull you off. This way. Look at those palms. Crazy. Waking up to this every single morning, going to bed every single night. Huh. I'm hot in this jacket I wore it because it was a little cold down where I started and I wasn't in the sun. Now I'm definitely like, yeah, I'm warm. There she be. I don't know if Rachel's gonna want to do that. I can almost tell you right now she's not. Um, looks like it's a little bit of a scramble up there, which we had read. We were kind of going back and forth on whether we were going to come here and we're like, does it make sense to go over here? Death Valley's got a lake right now. Could be a once in a lifetime opportunity to see that. So we went back and forth on whether we were going to beeline there, or come here first. And Rachel hasn't been out yet. It's our first morning here, but I think we're going to be very grateful that we came here. People are going to think I'm bringing him up there, but I'm not. Come on. Hopefully I can get five, six, maybe seven miles in with him today. Um, so that when we're gone this evening for maybe two hours, he'll be fine and tuckered out and just nap and hold down the fort. And I think I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure I have service here. So I'll hook up the blink camera and we can kind of watch him. This is kind of cool. Super cool. I guess maybe that's what I can do, is kind of discover a different spot that Rachel and I can go if she doesn't want to go to the main one. I guess I'll just take them off the station. Do a lot of doing this hard right now. Um, just the street's like a rocket when I take them off. Um, if we come up here, instead of the other point where everyone else goes, we could bring him, which would be really cool. That's a little steep though, for him. Hey, he's like, I'll figure it out. What do you think? 
You want me to give you a little hike up there? But then you'll have to wait when I come down. Or we could just call it good. And mom and I can come up here. I said, do you want me to hoist you up? Wait, wait. And he jumped this, just scaled it right up, which is actually incredible. I'll definitely hope that he waits and that I can hoist him down because that, that's a, that's a steep jump. So I think this is about all she wrote, which is fine. This is super cool. And I really wanted Zeke to see this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stay here. Do not jump up that. I feel comfortable. I could kind of crawl along this and scale that, but I don't want him doing that. Hey, 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 Zeke, 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 come back here. Wait, wait, wait. I want to play stick in the most dangerous spot. And now he's just showing off. He's doing circles. He ran up on that ledge. When we were at Indian Bread Rocks in Arizona, he took a spill. Caught a tree, thankfully, but now I think it, hey, wait. I am for sure bringing you down that section. You're not jumping that again. Come, I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. You're okay, it's okay. Just trust me. Please trust me, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, it's okay. It's okay. I thought I was gonna throw him off the cliff. It's like, no, man. I don't, not only do I not want you to get hurt, I don't wanna pay $5,000 to have an ER vet bill. And then he just flies. He's got literally no, no fear which is cool but also worrisome hey wait buddy We are full with solar. I almost said solar with full. We are full with solar, so I'm going to cook up the rest of the bacon we have and heat up a burger and have ourselves lunch. This is the first time this guy has moved since we got back. We've been back, hmm, I don't know, maybe two hours, I'd guess. But after four and a half miles and ripping around, someone's just tuckered out, huh? Yeah, but you had fun. It's all good. You can go back to bed. I was just wondering if you had a pulse. Oh, what a tough life. He loves it. He loves being outside and bouldering and ripping around. It's best. I mean, we have a ton of solar, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but at the same point, it's best to like use the air fryer and heat up burgers and stuff middle of the day when we're taking in power. Because right now, we're fully topped off. Um, and we're getting probably 550, 600 watts that obviously since the batteries are completely full is no longer absorbing 600 watts. So if we're cooking, it's basically like, you know, a wash or breaking even and then we'll be full by the end of the day. So yeah, yeah. Are you going to put bacon on our burger? I'm going to put bacon on our burgers. And then you could just cook up the rest and we could just put it I'm on gonna, our sandwiches. I'm going to cook up the rest. That oh, was the plan. Oh, I want a BLT. Really? Yeah. Wow, I can almost just... I usually slide it and it's filled so it'll take a little bit. But I almost pushed it out through the back side of the van. Okay, what first? Air fryer probably. Yeah. <laughs>
bacon, ham, burger patty, smash burger. Yeah. Pretty nice to be able to just cook a meal like this right in the trailhead, not plugged into electricity, not running a generator. And I mean, a, a serious meal. Zeke and I hiked four and a half miles this morning, but now Rachel and I probably about an hour and a half. We'll go do a sunset hike. The, the look we get whenever we go to head out, he's went for seven miles of walks today. Got a piece of bacon with his breakfast and I gave him a treat. And then this is the look that we get whenever we're gonna head out somewhere. He's like, abandonment. They're abandoning me. No one even cares. <laughs> it's okay. You can't. You saw what we tried to do today. Mom and I are gonna go attempt it, but puppies can't. I'm sorry. Don't you think the seven miles you and I went today was good enough? No, never. Had a little thorn there. I got it for you. Shake. We'll be back. We'll be right back. And just so you know. There is a camera <laughs> watching every move you make. Now Rachel gets her first experience of being back in Sedona, feeling it outside. It's been, uh, 21 months. 21 months since we were here last. And six days, 14 hours and 32 <laughs> minutes. Leave it to Rachel. Um, I couldn't even tell you if you had a gun to my head when the last time we were here, other than we were here at one point and it was probably in between one and ten years ago. <laughs> it was uh, mid-May 2022. That view. Mid-May 2022. So, how does it feel so far? 15 seconds back on the rocks. Very good. I'm sure there's going to be a thousand people here that's weird that it's like dead right here though this whole trail is dead i think it's because everyone gets the shuttle oh. other than the people that are at that trailhead already oh so the shuttle drops them off at a totally different spot i believe so yeah, i don't think the shuttle comes to the parking lot we're at sure <laughs> Yeah, a big like it was a big one for that sure. And there yeah, was people cool. like right under someone got it on video, I'm pretty sure, but no one died, I don't think. Yeah. Crazy. Good luck. I'll just wait so I can film you and I'll catch you. You're good. Are you filming me? Oh, you want a picture? So pretty, like just the greens and the reds. So did we camp up in, no. I can show you on a map in a minute. Hold on, put your hand up. You can walk through. Oh, very nice. It was that afternoon at Bryce Canyon where like the afternoon and the bright yeah. blue just was so vibrant, contrasting right. each other. No, I agree. Like uh, Peter was telling us in Big Bend, you just never know when a whole shelf of rocks is going to come crackling off there. And... Nice. Nice. 
tell that story to everyone else. Yeah, I'd be like, you know what really just trips me out? Earthquakes. <laughs> Is that we never know when this whole thing's gonna just... That's a really cool picture. Oh, we didn't bring a headlamp. I did. You did? Yeah. Did you bring me one? No. Oh. We only need one. Okay. What do you mean? How far apart do you think you're gonna be? It's not going to be pitch black. Stand right there. Yourself. You lied to me though, they didn't have heaters up there. Oh, I don't think I ever said there was heaters up there. <laughs> I think you came up with that. Yeah. Is that a coyote? Like Sounds a like it, yeah. <laughs> On the trail. <laughs> the dog's probably just gonna... Oh wow, that's kind of cool. Super cool. <laughs> Gotta be at least a hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder who's on the sound effects tonight. Are you good? I'm gonna just scoot scoot here. Okay. That's so cool. Glad the video picks up the. Uh... Did it? Yeah, I'm sure. I was thinking it was on this too. It's awesome. I mean, they're loud. I'm sure echoing off all the canyon walls or like the rock formations. Yeah. I saw one car from the street this morning. Really? Yeah. We're in Sedona. We just hiked for three hours. I work tomorrow remotely from the van. We don't know where we're staying tonight. We need groceries and a shower, like nobody's business. So Nate said four years ago, in February of 2020, before COVID changed the world, would I have been sitting in my old apartment wondering about this as a chapter of my life? I said, <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance, Lance. <laughs> Me either. That's the beauty in it, though. We carved our own path. Like we found uh, something we enjoyed and 
just started doing more of it. But yeah, I, I definitely, I'm in this, I'm good. I'm in the same boat. Well, literally I'm in the same boat actually. Same van. Yeah, same van. <laughs> <laughs> stretching those rusty bones after hiking seven miles today. You He's... only hiked like 13. Let me look. I really don't remember that. It shows us on this though, look. I mean, that's our mark. Colin Rachel, I said it's pretty cool that we just have explored all these places and now we know the spots that we enjoy and want to come back to and explore. I think it's looking like we're the only one. We're gonna have an excited boy, that's for sure. Yeah. Whoa! Hello! Hello! Oh, we can't even, can't even can't even walk. Here's I Overlander. We're at the blue dot. Oh, look at all the dirt under my fingernails. We're at the blue dot. Last night we stayed right here. So it's not that far away. Literally the only other dot that has recent reviews oh, sure. is this one so we can try it bell rock is something we could do tomorrow so then we're still like in this general area otherwise this one says new park rules 10 p.m to 6 a.m is closed crazy i would have thought there'd be at least a car or two we good okay so take a right right yep we tend not to try and drive at night, but sometimes we just don't have a choice. But like without them, that's the lights, and then with them, it's like... There's one, like, water truck or something back there. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the right. It says turn to the right. Two, we got a camera on you now, and you only woke up. What was it three times? Twice? Three hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was only three hours, wasn't it? Four, maybe. Not even four. Uh, three and a half, four. I don't know. My brain's mush. Yeah, so that's not bad. This is what it comes to when you uh, need to go grocery shopping. It'll be a week tomorrow. Will it be a week? Yeah. <laughs> Those are yours. That's great. Thank you for sharing your pork chop with me. You're welcome. You, you're too kind. You're too kind. Mm. Pork with a little wrap of bacon on it. I thought no restaurant once. Isn't that like those things that you can get a quick trip to? No. Like that they sell, they're not cooked and you take them home and cook them? Mm. You had that at dinner with Ed and Mary. Yeah. Oh, that is a good one. Oops, sorry. You're okay. Look at that little... <laughs> Pork sandwich. Pork, pork, and pork sandwich. Yeah, little, little pork foot logs. Mm, just 
sucked on your milker. Mm. That slaps. You gotta try that. <laughs> it's like, how about me? Little pork bites. <laughs> <laughs> 